It's just kind of weird to say out loud. Sometimes it's hard. It just, you can't explain it. You just get triggered or you have a memory. I don't know, something just creeps up and like you just want to, you just want to like crawl out of your skin. Like you, like your whole body just feels like gross and like not your own. Like when I, just like it sounds crazy like when it's not happening and I'm, a lot of times I'm like, why do I do that? Like why am I not in control of myself? want to disappear like I can't can't really explain it beyond that okay now we are got the motorcycle tires everything is down in the back we're gonna head to grab some water and then hit the road for the salt flats 4001 to the salt flats. It's pretty epic. Pretty salty. <laughs> yep. flat and white. Wow. Oh wait, that's not the name. It's pretty flat. Like my joke. Alright. Why we have the drunk we have, so I guess getting it up. Yes, let's do it. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, not that fast. Like the last bike was a lot faster, but I get 115. And but this does really good on road and off road. both fork seals damn so there you have it bike's great on road and off road <sighs> except i'm just too damn big so i'm gonna have to put bigger bigger springs in the front forks and either clean up the seals or replace the seals <sighs> that sucks but damn she does really well off road really well Auto focus on this thing is beneath. Today is a work day for Trevor and I. I remember when we would talk about, man, if I just had time to start my movie script or write my book or ride my motorcycle more. And we would just kind of dream about this day on the road where we had that kind of time. Uh, so we try to set aside at least one or two days a week where we are uh, writing a little bit. Trevor's working on his movie script and I'm working on my book and just make time for the things that you just don't make time for. Some 
this light stopped working. Well, we aren't doing anything, but Trevor is replacing it. Lewis. Very annoying. Company think that I'd be screwing this. Why? Like the head of a screw. Like, why, why does it snap off when I'm just hand screwing? Like, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. So I'm buy RV quality crap. Like certain things, there's no other option. Wow. Checking some things off the to-do list today. Aha! Success. Found it. Good for larger size butt connectors. Butt connectors? Yeah, I'm wiring up our new brake light. Nice. I really wish I had more room. Uh, nothing like. Have you ever pooped in the toilet? <laughs> you mean like, like now or like ever? Well, like ever, like I poop in it like once a day. Yeah, of course I've pooped in our toilet. Wait, seriously? <laughs> yes. Are you being funny? Yes, of course I've pooped in our toilet. You're like a ghost pooper. <laughs> like the ninja of poops. <gasps> Wait, because like you don't know when I poop? I've never even smelled it like a <laughs> fart of yours. Like a ninja pooper. Okay. It's like... Three in the morning. Right. <laughs> it's eleven thirty. You've been asleep for fifteen minutes. Oh, shut up! He's insisted. But oh, oh, <laughs> why? The, of the outside. It's a nice meteor shower, so I want to do like a like a time lapse thing all night. Okay. Both of them? Yeah. You're gonna do both cameras? Yeah. This is very involved. Yeah, <laughs> we spent most of the day yesterday just writing and catching up on work, taking it easy, chilling. Just really no different from what we do every day. Don't hate me. We're parked, uh, those are the salt flats right there. So we've just been parked in this awesome spot, boondocking. Trevor and I had a really big fight. sucks it's like one of those fights where it's like you can't you don't really like know what to say or like how to get back to like a good place I think it's important to normalize talking about trauma because I think that everybody has gone through some deep difficult trauma or obstacle in their life I think everybody experiences some type of hardship or loss and so I think normalizing the conversation so that people know how to receive people's different stories and in turn people can process through things better I think is important. I think there's this huge stigma where if, if people are talking about their trauma they're looking for attention or they're trying to get something. People have asked before Jokingly, I think, you know, what do you guys do when you're fighting and you live in 127 square feet? <laughs> we try not to fight. Trevor and I have really good communication most of the time. We do really well. But every now and then, we, we have a bad fight. One of us usually goes for a walk. The other person usually stays here until we find a way back to each other. Trevor and I have a lot of demons that we have to overcome a lot of time. I mean, like anybody. I've got a really mess, tangled childhood web of trauma 
and Trevor's got his own demons. Well, know this, some don't, that Trevor was an alcoholic and the first build is kind of what um, saved that for us. His um, sobriety when he was doing the first build. December 31st, 2018 was the last time Trevor had an alcoholic drink and the very next day is when he started the build for the original truck and he just spent six weeks getting sober and putting all of that energy into the first build and then we hit the road and he hasn't looked back. I think most people in this lifestyle, at least the people that I've met, are running after something, running after something bigger than themselves. You know, I don't know if that's true for everybody who lives on the road, but it's definitely true for me. I'm thankful that Trevor is patient with me while I wrestle through my demons, and I think the most important thing is to fight each other to understand, not just to fight. Says we're getting 60 mile an hour gusts every now and then. So we had to strap the bike down. Where's the crash pad? Over there. Oh my gosh. It's like crazy wind. don't believe that dogs have personalities and wants and desires never met Lewis good and just like loves life where we are he'll either lay in bed all day with a toy or a bone bathed by the door let himself in and out of the house when he is done with a place and ready to go over it very upset that we're still here this is what he does sits in the front seat all day and whines and complains He'll just cry and just sit here all day. Won't move. He even has like a bone in bed waiting for him. No, he's over it. He's done with this location. Louie. Are you mad at me? Louis. Louie, we're gonna be here for a couple more days. You better just. <laughs> Just like that, we're back in Salt Lake City. Wrong. You tell me. Cooling spraying everywhere. Well, this sucks. Let me just, let's go over all this again um, because you're about $200 cheaper than everybody else in the world. And so I think we have the wrong part. But I want to make sure if it's 121 bucks, that's great. Let's FedEx that shit overnight right now. But let's just double check. Okay. It's a 2008 GMC C7500 Top Kick on a Caterpillar. C7 or the 7.23126 motor. I got C7, C042 or C7E042, C7V042. Which one of the three? 
Oh shit, I have no idea. So, you said it was, is that a 7.2, 7.8? 7 7.2. 7 okay. So, for that, uh, is that with two host connections or one? Um, man, I don't know. I'll have to climb back under. The one host connection. Ah, uh, well, I got one main hose going in. Okay. And I mean, what's the turnaround on that? Um, we're looking at uh, Thursday at 12. Couple of days. Okay, that's fine. Can we? Uh, how, how can we expedite it? Option for next day. Yep. That's tomorrow at 10:30 in the morning, 33:57. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna help you. You need to come in and pay for it before I can order it. Can I just pay you over the phone? This is my one vehicle and it's it's not running. I'm happy to pay you over the phone right now. I will have to make an exception. Normally we don't take cards over the phone. Wait, at O'Reilly's? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. You're, a, you're a shop when we do it, but otherwise, no, we don't. Uh, one goes down, the other one's good. Fork seals are blown on the motorcycle, and now the water pump's blown on the truck. So now we have to borrow vehicles. Awesome. This this guy texted me because of your your story that you posted, and he was like, you know, fuck, dude, that sucks. Like that's gonna be a big cost. And I was thinking about it. I was like, you know, a new pump's two hundred and eighty-five bucks. That sucks, but costs eighteen hundred dollars to have a shop put on and do all that kind of crap when we can ultimately just do it ourselves. So does it suck? Yeah, because I wouldn't mind doing something else with my day. But we can do it. We have all the tools. We have all the parts. Do I know how? No. If I can figure it out. So yeah, it sucks, but whatever. It's not really that bad. I mean, self-sufficient. We are super thankful that this happened in Salt Lake City at my sister's house where we can borrow her car and use some of her resources. So hopefully the part comes in tomorrow morning and we can go pick it up. Trevor can fix it and 